Hello, today I'm going to present to you a film I shot at Stuttgart. I was using my new Sony A6000 camera, so I'm sorry I wasn't quite used to it and uh, the film is a bit wobbly in parts. But the film I'm going to show you is this vehicle right here. It's a 4x4 Expedition vehicle. It's from Bimobile. It's their EX366 version and well, let's have a picture. And what else I can tell you is the following. So it's got a payload of 450 kilos whilst being on a three and a half ton gross vehicle weight basis. The habitation cabin is mounted onto the 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter chassis. As the habitation cabin is a completely separate unit from the chassis itself, it should be able to withstand the shocks from very bad roads and tracks. And let's face it, you get a van like this for using it on very bad and rough tracks. The habitation cabin is separated from the Sprinter cab by an optional insulated door providing additional security and thermal separation. Thermal protection is uh, from a 44, sorry, 45 millimeter thick walls and on the floor it's 60 millimeters. The rear bed is a fixed single with a slide out which then converts into a double. Both halves of the double bed have a flexible, lightweight, frolly spring system. The EX366 layout has a separate seating area with table and when the bed's pulled out, the table can be used by only one person. The base model's fitted with a compressor refrigerator, diesel heating and a 20 litre LPG gas tank. Now. Let's see the film of this van. Stuttgart, the 18th of January 2018. I'm at the CMT Trade Fair. This is a Bimobile EX366 off-road motorhome on a Mercedes base. This vehicle will cost 127,000 euros. It is 619 centimeters long, 214 wide, 292 high, and depending if it's on a three and a half ton or 3,800 ton basis, will have a payload from 450 kilos. Let's have a look inside. It does say don't enter without staff, but they seem to like me. Don't know why. But uh, they seem to, so I can go in without them. Now, um, okay, it's only uh, it's just over six meters long, not a particularly large vehicle. So how do you think the bed works? Actually, it took me about a minute to work it out. But what we've got here is a, the bed here will push backwards and forwards, and this mattress during the day will probably just sit up there, and at night, if you want a bigger bed then you pull it out if a single bed or wide single bed is enough for you then you you won't bother to do that so that's how the bed works and under the bed I do want to point this out as well look it's got this foley system which I think is particularly good excellent for stopping uh, mold and things forming under there now during the day what you'll do is you'll push the whole thing back and you've got two seats here with a largish table to sit round. Okay, kitchen is two burners plus a domestic, well, almost a domestic uh, sink, not quite. Same fridge as I've got in mine, so I think it's the best fridge. Well, I think it's because I've got it. It is, I did think of it before, before I bought it. It's an electronic fridge. Uh, now, this is an off road vehicle for people who are thinking of going to places like. Siberia or something like that. So um, 4x4, tough vehicle, maybe doesn't look too luxurious, it's meant to be tough and not look smart. That is the idea. It, there, we have entrance to the cab through there. Here we have the toilet, shower, two domestic cloak holes. You've got a bumpy floor in there which anti-slip good idea. If you want to clean your, your, your feet, you'll just have to sit where the toilet is, get your feet clean because you've been in the Sahara Desert, you've probably got them pretty dirty and as the plug holes are a bit large and bits of sand hopefully won't block the pipes immediately. 
we've got also sunroof up there. Here we have a bit of hanging space. You'll need to take a fair whack of uh, clothing with you if you're going to some of these places. It'll get dirty quickly and in the middle of the tundra there are no place washing machines. Through here to the cab. Come in. And hanging space up there as well. These vehicles are made near Munich and uh, at this price they will make things to order depending on what requirements that you have. Right, what do you think of this? Uh, take the living area, I mean, it is an expensive van of course. Is anybody with experience of using this type of thing? I mean, that, that'd be curious. Uh, write down your comments below. Anybody been to Iceland or something like that in a vehicle of this nature? Right, so if you're interested, you can see I have filmed all of uh, Bimobile vehicles, I think. Or at least there are articles on them. But all, I think, on my website. So it's www.motorhomefulltime.com and you can see many other vehicles which I filmed here at Stuttgart this year. As well as Dusseldorf in previous years. And Stuttgart in previous years. Mm -hmm.